What's up everyone? My name is Alex Padilla, the young bartender. Today, we're gonna be making a pina colada. So you might be thinking to yourself, a pina colada? It's like the middle of October. Well, yeah, it is the middle of October, but in California, it has been extremely hot. Today it was like in the 95s, and then tomorrow it's gonna be like in the hundreds. And for everyone else who doesn't live in the US, that's about, I think 34 to 38 degrees Celsius. But that's the weather. But you know, let's get started. It's a fun drink. But first, the history. So the pina colada has a contested history. Um, the most popular claim is that Ramon Monchito Marrera, a bartender at the Puerto Rican Hotel, the Caribe Hilton, San Juan, he was asked by hotel management to create a signature drink for the hotel that captures all the flavors of the island. And he created the pina colada. Um, there's some other theories and claims that other Puerto Rican bartenders also made it, but regardless who made it, it is a delicious cocktail. I don't know why I'm holding the blender, but let's get started, shall we? Usually I say cheap ingredients first, but because of the ingredients we're using and they get a little messy, I'm gonna start with the rums first. So, one ounce of your preferred black rum. I prefer, I recommend for all these bottles of rum that you use Spanish style to uh, make sure you create homage to uh, the Puerto Rican uh, drink. So one ounce of black rum. Bacardi black for me. And then one and a half ounces of your preferred right, white rum. I am using Flor de Caña, extra seco. Pretty good stuff. One and a half ounces of that. And then four ounces of pineapple juice. I'm just using Dole's pineapple juice because that is what I had. I don't have any fresh pineapple on me. So, four ounces. Uno, dos. Press cuatro. Please pardon my awful uh, pronunciation. I can't even say that word right. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna do two ounces of Coco Lopez. Um, Coco Lopez is a special type of cream of coconut. Um, you know, it's, Tastes different from other cream of coconuts that are generic and store brand. Um, the Coco Lopez is a little bit more expensive than others. It can range anywhere from like four or five to eight dollars. It gets pretty pricey. That's just per can. So I recommend going to your local Walmart and um, if you live by a Walmart and pick up picking up a can there because they go anywhere from like. 350 to 398 so that's a that's a good price for coco lopez so we're gonna do ooh, two ounces of coco lopez and then we're gonna do one ounce of heavy cream i don't have any heavy cream on me i just have heavy whipping cream so we're just gonna use that instead probably change the texture up a little, but not too much of the taste. And as you can imagine, this is a high caloric uh, drink because of all the cream. Then we're just gonna add a dash of Angostura bitters. This, is, this part is completely optional. It's up to you. Then we're gonna do about a cup of crushed ice. Okay, use our blender. I'm using a Vitamix Pro 750. It is one of the best consumer blenders you can get out there. It gets the job done just 10 out of 10, maybe even 11 out of 10. They are a little bit more pricey. Um, if you go to Costco, you can get more affordable ones for like 350, but they totally get the job done and I really have zero complaints. So we're gonna blend this 
until it is like a slushy like consistency. Um, I'm just gonna use the pulse tool on this and see how he goes. Okay, I think that's good. Then we're gonna pour it into uh, your cup or glass. And um, usually it's served in those hurricane uh, glasses. I'm just using this amazing handcrafted tiki mug uh, that one of my family members gave to me for my birthday. Uh, I recently turned 21 and yeah, young bartender. Um, super cool. I think the artist does stuff for like Disney and stuff. So we're gonna pour it into our glass. Ooh. Mm. Perfect. Usually calls for a pineapple wedge and then, like I said earlier, I don't have any fresh pineapple on me. So we're gonna use this kind of cute umbrella. If anyone has any recommendations for uh, reusable uh, like tiki decor for glasses, please hit it in the comments. Um, I like to conserve as much as I can. Whoop. Just float a cherry on top. And there you have it, pina colada. Let's take a sip. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. I can just down this, but we have to drink responsibly. Um, so you definitely get that pineapple and that rum. Not rum. Pineapple and coconut. Um, like just straight on. And then you get the bitters, uh, the Ingusura bitters. You get those uh, tasty notes. And then you finally get your rum. Um, for me, it's kind of hard to distinguish between the black and white only because it is such a coconut forward drink. Let's have another sip. Mm. Oh my goodness. Now that's a drink. A dangerous drink. Um, both calorically and in terms of alcohol content. So, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to click like. And then subscribe and hit that bell icon. Thank you. Have a great day.